We're back. And today, the plan is going to be going over to that ocean monument. I decided that. I think that's the right call for where we're at. I'm just going to get myself a whole bunch of birch because I'm going to need to make myself ladders. I'm going to need to make myself all sorts of stuff to prep over there because once I get over there, I'm going to have mining fatigue and it's going to be sort of a big deal to get more blocks. So right now that's what four stacks, eight, uh, it's eight stacks of planks per stack of of logs. We've got quite a few logs, but I, I want to have way more than I'd ever need. And I might put a rail on it because I don't like walking in Skyblock without a rail. So we're going to keep doing our thing. And I think we're going to claim that as our base. Anyway, let me get prepped and then I'll check back in with you when I'm bridging out. That means I need to just get on with it. And I think think I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a rail behind me. That way I don't accidentally fall into the void when I'm walking forward or backwards. This is the sort of cheapest rail that I'm aware of, is just to put slabs like this. It is pretty straightforward. I do bottom slabs this whole way because I don't want to get tossed straight in the void by some sort of silly accident. I am going to need some ladders and I'm going to need some other things to get down there, but let's just get over. We're going to have mining fatigue. Let's just deal with it and get the monument cleared out for now. So also let me get really low in the world, which is super helpful for uh, getting around. And if it does start to get dark, which it looks like it's going to, we're going to have to run back to our plot and start chopping wood because I cannot be near that place as I know I have phantoms. I have insomnia right now. One of the silliest and worst things in Minecraft, but I've got it and I can't get rid of it because I don't have a bed. Yeah, we're going to just run back and we'll chop, 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 chop and see you in the morning. And we're back. I got some stuff together. I did put railings on my build platform, so it's a little bit safer. We're aiming for the middle. We're just building out right now. I do have a, a crouch lock program that I'm using to make this a little bit safer. Um, it's free for you to download. I made it. It's whatever you want to do with it link may be on screen right now. We'll see. I am never good about the actual YouTube editing stuff. But we're going to get there today. We're going to get to this uh, ocean monument and actually get started on the, the clearing it out. And there is the mining fatigue. Ah, this is going to be fun. But I knew that was coming. We know that we have to get mining fatigue when we go here. It's just part of the game. Now I'm doing some quick math in my head to figure out if I will die if I drop down. And I think the answer is I'm gonna take about, what, two or three hearts of damage? Uh, let's see, two and a half. Yeah, that's about right. So now we're gonna have to pillar up means I need a crafting table and we're just going to put the crafting table here and then I'm going to need some ladders probably going to need oops I didn't mean to make another wooden hole but we need some more ladders and then we're going to pillar up just so that we have a way out if we need it because in the ocean monument, it's going to be dark and there's going to be zombies. We're going to need a way to take care of those, or at least escape them. So having ourselves a little platform that we can 
get up to and be safe on is important. So we're going to do this, and then I'm going to use the door technique that I like for Skyblock, which is put a trap door down, and then you can open and close it. Now we're going to eat some kelp. Oh, we'll drop down again and build up. This is going to take ages, but we'll get there. And I've got to break this block before I can actually get safe from the, uh, the nighttime. Because I really don't want to be here during night. And there we go. Now I need some more ladders. Oh, and you can't... You can't play... Uh, this is going to take forever. And hope... Come on, break. Okay, that broke. And now we can place that in. And place that in. And we can get back up top. It's not quite the end of the time that I have, so I might try to mine out one or two blocks. Um, we'll give it a go. We do have to get away from here before night time. Okay, I've got. To, I'm gonna break this block and then I'm gonna run. This is getting dangerous. Break! 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 Hurry up! Okay, and then we get a run. Okay. Now we gotta get away from the phantom generator that we have going on right there. Alright, well. Now we just are kind of waiting because we've got five minutes of spoon time for us to just chill. Nothing we can really do for five minutes. We can break some kelp, I guess, but that's about it. We can replant our trees. And we're actually at a point where we have enough saplings that I'm going to start using them as fuel. I don't really have a good reason to keep a million saplings. I don't need 30 bazillion of them. I swear I would do better eating rotten flesh than eating kelp. And the mining fatigue wore off. So I'm going to chop these trees and put them back so we can get growing again. I hate mining fatigue. I don't know exactly what we're going to do for protection. I don't have a, access to a bow. We're going to have mining fatigue when we fight the uh, Elder Guardians. I just don't know what we're going to do. So we'll give it a go, see how they, see how we can uh, fare against them, but I think my only option is stone sword and I won't have a shield because I don't have any iron. So we'll see. We're going to need an absolute ton of kelp though, so I'll just keep growing that while we're, while we're at it because I need the kelp to f help me heal because it takes so much to just eat. And we're going to head right on back out. It's starting to get to daylight. We probably will get a couple of things broken so we can maybe get into that, uh, that ocean monument. We'll see. It is a lot of block breaking. I got my sword on me. It's going to take some time. We'll just keep pushing through. See how things go. And there's the fatigue again. This I can make. I'm gonna make another crafting table. Do that, and I can make a trap door. And then we're gonna battle this guy. Break his line of sight. Eat. The thorns is brutal.
Recover our health. <laughs> Eat some more. Okay. We're going to need more fish. Wait, did I get him? And I got a sponge. Well, I need to take a break for now. So we're going to eat some kelp. And then we're going to have to go get more food before we can continue on this quest. Because that took so much, so much saturation. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if I can defeat all these Elder Guardians with kelp, I just do not have the saturation to do that. And I'm kind of wondering if I should build a small fish pond. I could go out and build the fish pond 20 blocks away and pick up fish. Otherwise I'm gonna need stacks and stacks of kelp. We'll see. We'll Maybe we'll try one more excursion out there uh, it's just no saturation is really making it hard. I guess technically I could build an ocean monument guardian farm using just like leaving the, the guardians there, but oh my, is it going to be a pain? Well, we're back in the ocean monument and it definitely has mobs in it. And not just the Elder Guardians. We should not have any Guardians, I don't think. I'm not sure. But we definitely will have Elder Guardians. And you can hear some zombies. There's a gold. Oh, there's a, there's a Guardian. So yeah, we do have the, the Guardians that originally spawned in here. We shouldn't have any of the, like... Guardians respawning because it is not covered in water and Guardians actually do require a ocean like or a water based spawn attempt to occur in order for the structure spawns to happen so we're gonna have to beat these guys a little by little and heal up as we can because I do not have much in the way of decent food we hope for a fish and we didn't get one so going to put a torch here and go climb back up I think we're gonna have to go down here and then fight him and we're gonna have to break line of sight a few times. No, stop it. Oh boy. Oh boy. You know, we're gonna plug that hole. Well, that wasn't the worst of things. We're gonna light this one up. Okay, this place should be safe. This is the first time I've ever been wanting fish from a guardian but man I want fish did you give me a cod no we're gonna wait for our health to regen while we're doing that we're gonna light up this place now we're gonna need some ladders and I am so tired of kelp there's the Elder Guardian. Don't have anything in the way of ranged. So this is going to take some time. Hit him again. Break line of sight. Eat some kelp. Oh crap. That nearly got me. We need some health. 
Oh my gosh, playing Ring Around the Rosy with this guy. Oh, I need health before I can hit you again. Okay. Okay. I got a smithing template. That is not super useful, but I still got it. Okay, right, now we're gonna have to look for monsters. Why are there so many creepers? Two. Three. Four. Oh, maybe this guy will drop some clothes. That would actually be helpful. Oh, I've got some kelp. I thought I was out of kelp. I thought I was lower on kelp than I am. Okay. Let's see. Can we do this? This is not the most interesting boss fight you've ever seen. But... Gonna do it without dying. And there's... Oh, there's those uh, villager guys around somewhere. And I don't need you. No, I don't need you, Mr. Pillager. Let me take care of this elder guardian. Okay. Let's get you... Come on, you've got to be close to done. You have got to be close to dead. The thorns are so brutal. Oh, okay. Oh. I now have a base. I now have a base. I don't have a food source, but I have a base. So now I've got to clean this place out, and then I can start working on putting in farms or whatever. I really need to get a way to get better food than kelp. That is so necessary right now. But I think I'm going to move in here. And I think that's where I'm going to make the cut today. So we conquered the ocean monument and I don't have to worry about mining fatigue anymore. And we are just getting ready for building a guardian farm, I think. Seems really strange that the first thing that I'm going to build in Skyblock is a guardian farm. Well, after my cobble gem, but hey, that's where we're at. Anyway, this is Mad Hatter, and I'm out. Bye!